In early 2019, Aviva CEO Craig Heyman visited the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, where he met with Tasneem Anaish al Mizani, head of value chain optimization and analytics. During the tour, the two leaders discussed oil and gas 4.0, ADNOC's implementation of digital transformation, big data, automation, and the Internet of Things as it's manifested in the Panorama Digital Command Center. Panorama represents a single source of accurate ad hoc information from across its 14 operating companies, designed and developed in partnership with Aviva. I'm at the Panorama Command Center, and uh, what an incredible center it is. You had a lot to do with this, this idea of oil and gas 4.0. What does that mean for uh, uh, ad hoc? So technology and people together is a very important pillar within ad hoc to, to help us get to Industry 4.0. Hmm. Uh, you need to ensure you have the right systems in place that would enable you to have the right data in terms of quality, reconciliation, um, and then obviously comes the enabling technology that allows you to make sense out of this data. What is actually equally important is to ensure that if you decide to have a partner to help you with this stage or this uh, dynamic shift or transformation, that partner, which in our cases is Aviva, and thank you very much, needs to really understand and believe in the company's vision to help you achieve ultimately what you wish to achieve. Well, you're very, very kind, and uh, I want to say it's uh, incredible the work that you and your team uh, have done. Uh, it's a, a, a deployment that's very famous inside Aviva. Uh, the team have heard a lot about it. Uh, it's a pleasure to be spending thank with you, uh, the person who's actually sort of behind it with a, with a team of many others. There's a story to this. Okay. So, uh, you know, Dr. Sultan Jabab um, came on board to ADNOC and um, for him the first question was, okay, here I am managing 14 operating companies. We're talking about roughly 50,000 people, uh, various operations. You've got gas processing facilities, refineries, petrochemicals. So that's when Panorama, uh, the idea of Panorama came on board. So as you can see here, we have a 50 wide meter screen. Um, that really represents all our different operations, various operations, is based on real-time uh, data. And that just uh, enabled us to establish the first milestone, let's say, which is centralizing, integrating our data on a single platform. The massive panorama screen has more than 120 dashboards displaying KPIs from over 200,000 tags across the oil and gas value chain. Remarkably, a project of this magnitude was completed in only eight weeks. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, how did you come to be here and, and uh, sort of driving a lot of this incredible project? In terms of uh, qualifications, like I said, I'm a chemical engineer in background, but I'm also um, a graduate from Cambridge University. Um, Cambridge in the, in the UK? In the UK, Okay, yeah, well, so. <laughs> we, we know that place in Aviva. <laughs> yeah, that's where you're at, yeah. Science Park. Um, but yeah, actually, I met your team when we first started the project back in Cambridge. So that's the first thing I did. Um, I, I went there to see them. So myself, I've worked with your Spiral Suite team uh, very closely uh, with Aviva. What we did was we um, collaborated to build a very unique model, and that's the uh, ADNOC value chain optimization model. It's an LP-driven model. Um, it's very techno-economic driven. It represents our gas processing facilities, petrochemicals and refineries as well. This technology transformed production mm. planning mm. in Adnock. That's what um, the, the Spiral Suite LP model helped us do today. Great. So. That's great. Nice shout out to the Spiral team. I'm sure yeah. they appreciate <laughs> that. Um, sort of, you know, you're sort of entering the workplace as a, as a millennial. Uh, any advice you would you'd provide to others? Uh, look, Rick, i got to be very honest here. I, I could be biased, but um, the situation in the UAE is slightly different. Um, we, it, it comes, we have the national support, so the leadership at a leadership level, um, the CEO levels, uh, the manage, managerial level as well, the middle uh, tier of management. Um, and they all are in alignment in terms of ensuring that they support millennials, uh, they need to be heard, they need to have a voice, um, and not only that, and also in specific, there is an encouragement of actually encouraging women uh -huh. in industrial sector to actually be proactive, to be heard, to have even some kind of leadership positions within certain, probably within the next five years or so. So you probably have seen we have already formally announced our first female, uh, female CEO. So. 
Very good. And, and uh, I think it's a lesson learned for us. You know, we we're based out of the UK. We have a lot of employees in, in the US, as an example. We're sort of at the beginning of that journey. We, we've begun a lot of activity uh, to increase uh, 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 women in technology, millennials in our workforce. But we have a long journey ahead of us, quite frankly. So it's great to hear uh, the, sort of some of the best practices here. Um, and sort of finally, you're, you're, you, know, you have a chance here to talk to almost our entire engineering team, our entire uh, uh, organization. Any, you know, what else can they help you with here? Like, um, I'm actually always, um, see, I, I, again, I could be biased, <laughs> but we have a great team here on board. And uh, the, be yourself, be innovative. Um, Make sure you capture all the opportunities out there. It's, it's a very interesting time to be working for in the oil and gas industries. And um, I'd say if they seize the opportunity, I think uh, they'll have a very bright future ahead of them. That's great. And thank you so much for thank all you, your Chris. support so uh, from all of us at Aviva. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're, we're going to do whatever we can to ensure further thank success you. with no the doubt. project. Thank yeah. you very much. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks.